Shopify released their new AI theme blocks mechanics and with these you can create building blocks for your theme with the power of AI and without writing any code at all. But wait, you don't see this feature in your theme and you can't use them? There's a pretty high chance your old and outdated theme doesn't support them yet. So let's change that. What's up my nerds, it's Bozy, your Shopify developer freelancer from Germany and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable the new AI theme blocks in any theme of your choice. Because you don't need to actually use the new Horizon theme for that. So without further ado, let's jump right in. To generally enable AI theme blocks, there are basically three requirements you need to have. The first requirement is you need to be on one of these plans. Just any plan except the starter plan. The second requirement is that your account's preferred language must be set to English. What this means is you don't need to actually set your store's preferred language to English, but rather your account's language. You can change the language if you click on here and then go to manage account. When you scroll down to preferred language, it has to be set to English. This changes your whole language in the admin to English, so you have to be fine with that. The third and last requirement is that you must have a compatible theme that supports theme blocks. To show you what a compatible theme looks like, I downloaded the new Horizon theme. When we go to the editor, you can see that all the section use theme blocks. We even have a custom section where we can just simply build our own section how we want. And there we can generate a theme block with AI. When I go back now and look at the Dawn theme, we can see that we have sections, but these blocks are section blocks and bound to the actual section. Also, we don't have a custom section to just use theme blocks. So let's change that by implementing the AI theme blocks into this Dawn theme. To do this, you have to click here and then edit code. The first thing you need to have is a blocks folder, though this should be there already. This is required though to activate theme blocks in the theme. And in this case, it's also needed to store the AI blocks later in this folder. The next thing you want to do is click to sections and add a new section. You can simply put liquid and then call this custom section or however you want it and click done. And now comes the magic. To give a section the ability to use theme blocks, we have to give the schema an attribute of blocks. Then open with square brackets and inside open up a curly bracket and here we need the type of add theme. Then this is not necessary, but I would add it. You also can add a type of add app. So apps can inject their blocks also in this section. Then to render the actual blocks, you need to use the content for tag. Open a curly bracket and a percentage sign, then say content for and then say blocks. That would be roughly it, but I would like to also wrap this in a container because maybe you want to add some styles to it. And last thing, let's change the name to custom section. And we also need a presets parameter. The same here, open with brackets and with curly brackets. And here we simply put the name custom section again so we can use it later in the editor. Then you can hit save. That was basically everything you need to do to use the new AI theme blocks. And we go back and now get to the Dawn theme. Now we can add a section, the custom section. And in here, when we click add block, we now can generate blocks. Let's try that out real quick. Create an image with text block. You can see it generates the block and after it's finished, you can simply hit save. And now you have an image with text section just created with AI. The cool thing is you can also reuse this new AI generated block. And when we go back to the code, we can see that the block got saved into the blocks folder. If you want to remove the block, you can also just remove it here. Now that everything works, there's still one more thing we need to do. Go again into sections and add a new section, then call this section underscore blocks. It has to be this name and click done. And here you can simply copy the custom section code and just paste it into the underscore block section and hit save. The reason you have to do this is because of Sidekick. Let me show you and go back into the editor. You can not only create AI blocks with the custom section, but also click on Sidekick, which is basically the JetGPT of Shopify. And you can also ask Sidekick to do stuff for you. So let's say create a hero banner block for me and it gives you a link. When you click it, it prompts you to generate a block again. And it basically does the same thing as with the AI theme block. And when we click save now and go back, we can see that it created a section itself. It's basically the same name. So let me change it real quick to show you. If we change the name now to sidekick section, also the preset 
and hit save, you can see that the custom section and the sidekick section are actually two different sections. And with that, you have now everything to use AI in your theme, even if it's old and outdated. There are some things to consider though. You should be aware that the AI generated blocks are only possible in the custom section now. If you go into the image banner, for example, and add a block, it's still section blocks. That's because all the other sections in the Dawn theme are using section blocks and are bound to the section and are not using theme blocks overall. To make it work with every section, you would have to change all the sections to use theme blocks instead of section blocks. If you want to do this and learn more about theme blocks, go check out my video on theme blocks where I explain everything you need to know. That was it for the video. If you want to learn more about the Horizon theme and the new AI features, go check out my video on the new Horizon theme. I would be also really happy if you would subscribe to my channel because I take a lot of time creating these videos so I can help you out. Also, you can check out my Discord community that I created solely for Shopify developers. So if you have questions or want to learn more stuff, go ahead and check it out. Lastly, I want to tell you that I work on my own Shopify developer academy where I want to teach you how to become a Shopify developer or at least better at it. So if you're interested, go check out the link in the description and sign up for updates. See you next time. Bye bye.